to the developing story of the prison break at the Kamiti Maximum Prison. Detectives from the Serious Crimes Investigations Unit at the DCI spent the better part of Tuesday analyzing the crime scene, the cell where the three terror convicts escaped from. The probe, led by the Director of Criminal Investigations, George Kinoti, revealed that the trio could have been aided by prison wardens to dislodge a brick on the wall of their cell before escaping. And as Hassan Mugambi reports, seven officers who were arrested and arraigned will continue and remain in custody for 25 days pending investigations. A day after three terror convicts escaped from the committee maximum prison, detectives drawn from the Serious Crimes Investigations Unit continued analyzing the crime scene. Sources privy to the facility revealed to Citizen TV that the three fugitives, 34-year-old Musharraf Abdallah, alias Alex Shikanda, from Mumias, Kakamega County, sentenced to 22 years in prison. 30-year-old Joseph Juma Odiambo from Matungu, Kakamega County, serving 15 years for terror-related crimes. And 35-year-old Mohammed Ali Abikar from Wajir County, serving a 41-year jail term, having been convicted in 2019 with three others for their role in the Garissa University attack. Detectives are trying to piece together how long it took them to dislodge this brick from their cell wall. It is through this opening that sometimes they blocked using a cardboard that they made their way out. Indicative of a plan hatched for a long time before it was executed. They used blanket strings and broomsticks to create makeshift ropes that they used to scale two high walls around the correctional facility. But ironically, with the maximum security at committee, none of the wardens had the commotion or saw anything. Detectives believe they worked in cahoots with unscrupulous prison wardens given that the wall appeared to have been drilled from both outside and inside. Sources say the detectives also recovered a rusty chisel and razor blades believed to have been used to create blanket ropes. The rust on the chisel suggesting that the brick could have been dislodged some time back. Investigations at the crime scene were led by the Director of Criminal Investigations, George Kinoti, who declined to comment on the probe due to its sensitivity. The events here continue to give Kenya Prisons Commissioner General Wycliffe Ogalo sleepless nights. Ogalo, who is yet to leave the committee maximum prison since the escape came to the fore, continued with the internal investigations and departmental meetings where he read the riot act on his officers. Seven prison wardens suspected to have abated the escape were presented before court where detectives were granted their application to continue holding them for 25 days awaiting investigations. Two senior officers at the prison facility recorded their statements at the DCI headquarters and were detained at Gigiri Police Station. They are expected to be arraigned Wednesday. Monday night, Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Martiangi led a delegation of all security chiefs at the maximum correctional facility where he expressed his dismay, warning Kenyans against collaborating with the convicts. We will not only go the direction uh, investigations will point us, but we will act resolutely to ensure that this kind of recklessness does not happen ever again because it exposes uh, our people, uh, as it were. Definitely there is a certain level of responsibility we have to deal with. He vowed to rally resources towards the recapture of the three convicts whose whereabouts are yet to be established. Even as investigators continue to piece together evidence to try and establish how exactly the prison break was planned and executed, they are of the opinion that there is no way the trio did it on their own. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.